Wednesday, we're back at the TA. <laughs> we had uh, one of our trailer lights burnt out overnight, or sometime yesterday. Honestly, I didn't look at the I didn't look at the marker lights at the top of the back of the trailer last night after I finished driving. That's just pretty much a pre-trip thing, unless I just happened to walk behind the trailer at night. And I uh, had no reason to at this particular location.
fun customer, I say sarcastically. <laughs> Actually, that's, that's a little bit unfair. The, the guys who loaded the truck were awesome. They were some of the nicest folks. They were just happy to see me. They didn't speak a lot of English, but we were able to communicate pretty well. Um, <laughs> and uh, they, were, they were super nice, very helpful. Where are you going? Oh, good. Um, yeah, it's a little bit tight getting in and out of here. All these vehicles parked on the side of the road. <laughs> these do not get hit by my trailer. All right, here goes. <laughs> also, yeah, I don't know if you, like, just look at the exit that I was supposed to take with the truck. I did take it. And it did not go well. We hopped the curb, came all the way around it, and if that sign, if the stop sign were like a foot further in, we'd have taken out the stop sign. But it's, no. There's there's a much better way for us to get in and out of here, which I found, because I've made repeated trips to the nearby, uh, the nearby scale location. <laughs> and I have since sent uh, the updated directions. Uh, actually, this is still a really tight turn, even though it's the better one. So I need windows open so I can hear anyone coming and ample warning in case there's anyone coming around that corner nobody Point four miles awesome. ahead turn right on East Hunnaby Road okay windows up Good. yeah so that's that's a much much more doable corner than the U-turn coming off of the freeway. <laughs> Point three miles ahead, turn right on East Hunnaby Road. <sighs> but anyway, we're loaded. Um, so, this customer, I, we were in Arvin, California, uh, the Wheeler Ridge TA, at 9.30. Still hadn't gotten the appointment time. The appointment time arrived in my possession. I received the info about the appointment time at 9.30 a.m. Wheeler Ridge is about two and a half hours away from here. Uh, would be like two hours away, but there was a pretty bad accident on 126 that slowed us down quite a lot. Uh, uh, a telephone pole fell and hit a car. And uh, I, I don't know if the driver... Uh, I don't know if that driver was going to make it out of that one. That was not... Um, the, the whole driver's side of the, of the pickup truck that got hit was just destroyed. Um, so yeah, not a great situation. Destroyed the traffic. Um, and slowed us down a little bit. But we still got here at noon. Our appointment time... 0.7 miles ahead. Turn right on ramp and then merge left on South Rice Avenue. The appointment time that we received from Prime at 9.30 a.m. was to show up between 8 a.m. and noon. That was the time frame we had to work with. We arrived 10 minutes after noon, which, you know, that's pretty good timing considering we were in a repair bay at 9.30. And it was like 90 miles. So if you ask me, we did great on getting here. So they were already annoyed because they're like, well, we closed at noon and all of our, everyone except the dock workers went home. So I had to deal with their shipping person over the phone the entire time which was not great. Point three miles ahead, turn right on ramp and then merge left on South Rice Avenue. And he, he was already annoyed at me because as far as he was concerned, I was way outside when they wanted me to arrive. It's like, I didn't know. If I'd known you guys wanted me here at 8 a.m., I could have been here at 8 a.m. Probably. I mean, we still would have had to deal with that light, but... I mean, chances are, if I'd, if I'd known they had somewhere for me to park, I'd have just come straight in last night. To be entirely honest. Point one mile ahead, merge left on South Rice Avenue. I would have gladly just come in last night. But they, they failed at their communication with, uh, with Prime, for sure. 
Also, they were expecting a truck that's about 2,000 pounds lighter than mine. 5.2 <laughs> miles ahead, turn right on ramp to US 101 South. Apparently they did not give, uh, they did not give Prime an estimated weight for the cargo. They tried to stick 47,000 pounds of celery on my truck. So naturally they overloaded me by over 2,000 pounds. <laughs> and they're like, well, the only reason we stayed is because we thought you were taking a full load. I'm like, it's, this is no way my fault. This is not, this is not me. No, you are not blaming me because you guys did not tell Prime how heavy your cargo was. They would have sent someone lighter. They have lighter trucks than mine. I'm in a full-size Cascadia. Um, we are we are about 34,000 pounds empty when full of fuel. And we were not full of fuel today. And they still overloaded me. <laughs> and it's like, this, this is not my fault. And he's like, well, my guys are getting overtime. And they just want to go home to their families for the holidays. And I'm like, dude! <laughs> like, I am the last person that you can guilt trip into about getting people home for the holidays like you're you're loading my truck with cargo that I have to that I'm going to be driving across the country with on Christmas like this is not the time to try and guilt trip the driver about the holidays you know <laughs> not again though I don't care I'm not a Christian I don't celebrate Christmas so that's not that's completely irrelevant but this is an, an industry where like 99% of the drivers are Christian So, I mean, there's, okay, probably actually more like 75% because there's a lot of, uh, there are a very large number of Hindu and Muslim drivers that are awesome, awesome folks for the most part. And, uh, but still, this is like, this is not, no, no, none of the guilt tripping. Like, you guys, you guys miscommunicated to, to Prime. And that's the whole reason for all of this. And I'm not going anywhere if you guys can't get my axles legal. So they took off a pallet and they weighed the pallet. And they're like, oh, hey, we removed 1,700 pounds. Is that good enough for you? I'm like, I'm 2,020 pounds overweight. <laughs> no, that's not good enough for me. <laughs> Sorry. It's nothing personal. <laughs> I'm, I'm not trying to be annoying. I can't go anywhere if my truck is overweight. Oh. So they, 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 after, after I told them that, I said, look, if, if I, if my truck is still overweight, when I go back to that scale, I'm coming back here. And they're like, well, my guys are going home as soon as you leave this time. And I'm like, all right, then I'll still be sitting here when you guys get back from Christmas, because if this truck's overweight, I can't go anywhere. And they're like, okay, we'll take another pallet off. <laughs> I'm like, thank you. That's all I asked. All I asked, take off more weight than my, than my axles were over. <laughs> it's all we needed, all we needed. So we're gonna go find out now whether or not we are indeed uh, within legal parameters for driving. I don't really have a plan if we're not. <laughs> but you know, we'll see. Okay, we are legal. <laughs> I'm really glad I had to take off that extra pallet because I don't think we'd still be legal if they hadn't. So they took 1,700 pounds off the first time. All right, what are y'all doing? You're coming across, okay. There's a stoplight immediately to the left, which makes this... I can't see what state the stoplight is in, so that makes this uh, a fun turn. But it's cool. We're good. 1.3 miles ahead. Turn right on ramp to US 101 South. Yay! I saw way too much of this neighborhood today. <laughs> we're legal, we're legal. Let's get the heck out of here. <laughs> I am so ready to be out of this, out of this state, really. To be entirely honest. So, uh, our route out of here, we're gonna head east to Interstate 15 and uh, head up the Cajon Pass. It's 
instead of the instead of Tahone, we're gonna head up Cajon, which is it's a slightly easier grade and it's uh, it's much easier on our fuel economy to go straight over to 15 and then out than it is to try and go north to um, north over one mountain pass and then have to do a second mountain pass to get back over to uh, Interstate 15. Better to just go straight to 15 while we're still down in this valley. So we're going to do that. That means we might encounter some of uh, some of LA's notorious traffic. Hopefully not, but I have zero faith. It is, after all, two days before Christmas. <laughs> two days before Christmas right now. So I have no faith that we will have an easy time of this, but we'll see. Our uh, 160 miles to Barstow, so we'll see how long this takes. We've got four hours and 44, not now, Maxwell, four hours, 44 minutes to get there. And we'll see if we can't find somewhere to park. Like three miles ahead, turn right on ramp to US 101 South. Somewhere in the vicinity. <laughs> Fernando Road. I thought it was 
San Fernando Boulevard. That's a backup. That's my lane over. Merge left. Brakes, 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 brakes. Also, look how long my battery lasted. This is only